Welcome. This is a video that will overview primary and secondary sources. You need to understand the distinction of this, these two in order to properly do your research for your cause and effect essay. So I'm going to go over these for you. On this slide you'll see the definition of secondary sources. A secondary source is a document or recording that relates or discusses information originally presented elsewhere. This basically means that a secondary source is an article that is not directly read, said, or written by the person you're referencing. It could be an article that's addressing the accomplishments they made. It could be an opinion article about the actions of the person, but it is not read, said, or written by that person itself. For instance, in my model essay, I wrote about Martin Luther King. A secondary source is an encyclopedia entry, a retrospective entry, an opinion entry about Martin Luther King, but not the words he read or he said publicly. For example, I chose someone who's very relevant to teens of today. I chose former governor of Arizona, Jan Brewer. For secondary sources, Jan Brewer, an article about Jan Brewer that we considered a secondary source would be something talking about her in the second hand. It would not be Jan Brewer's own words. It would be an article from the news, it would be an opinion article, it could be an editorial about her policies, but it is not, a, not her words themselves. On the contrary, a primary source, as you can see the definition here, is an artifact, document, diary, manuscript, autobiography, recording, or any other source of information that was created at the time under study. For the purposes of this assignment, if I was writing my essay about Governor Jan Brewer, I would need a speech, an article, a writing, anything to that effect that was directly made by her. In the same way that in my model essay, my primary sources are things like Letter from Birmingham Jail, written by Dr. Martin Luther King, or the I Have a Dream speech, or the Nobel Prize acceptance speech delivered by Dr. Martin Luther King. They need to be the words directly from the person, him, or, him her, or themselves. That is a primary source. You need at least one primary source for this article. Thank you.